Good day! Welcome to your math class. Did you have fun in our first week? Our first lesson in math? I hope so because it's just an easy peasy. I mean, it's it's just counting 1 to 10. So I hope you already mastered counting 1 to 10. Okay? Now, let's continue loving numbers and let's make it mad dali at mad saya. Let's get started. Okay. Look at the blocks on the screen. I know you have toys like this. A Lego block. Now, we said last time that in counting objects, you have to start and always start counting at one so you have to count objects one at a time so how many lego blocks can you see mm, you're so fast in counting now i i know you have your answers already so let's count together one two three and four so there are four lego blocks you can see on our screen but what if I let you count the Lego blocks like this. Hmm. Can you count all the Lego blocks? Hmm. I don't think so. You can count all of them one at a time or one object at a time. Now, to make counting easier, we can organize objects in groups of 10. So our example, I'm going to give you an example of Lego blocks. I already grouped them by 10s for you to count easier. So look at this example. Oh, our lesson for today, by the way, is counting up to 100. So it's this is just a con continuation about your lesson counting 1 to 10. Now we will count up to hundreds okay so i'll give you an example so this is how the blocks look like if you will organize them by 10 so look at the blue lego blocks i already grouped them by tens and i divided them by tens and by one so first look i'm i'm going to encircle the first group of blocks the 10 blocks that's the first group and another group of 10 blocks that's the second one that means there are two group of tens all you have to do is put two on the tens group and the rest the blocks that are left on the right side all you have to do is count them one one by one and put them on the ones group let's count one two three so just put three on the ones group and if you put together two and three two tens and three ones the total number of blue blocks is 23 see you can count easily and faster or you can count easily if you just organize them and group them by Tens. Rather than counting one by one like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. See, it takes time if you will count it one by one. But if you were if you will if you will group them by tens, it will be easily it will be easy for you to count them faster. So I have here another example. The pink pink uh, pink blocks. Alright. So I'm going to encircle again. Let's encircle the group of tens. Let's count. So this is the first group of tens. One Another group of tens, two. Another group of tens, three. So put three on the tens group. And the rest, you can count it now one by one. One, two, three. And put it on the three ones. So if you put together three tens and three ones, the total number of pink blocks is 33. Very good. Now, 
In counting numbers, no, there is a number that is, look at the 100 table. You should know how to count 1 to 100. So, if you will count numbers, there is a number that is 1 more than the given number. What does it mean when we say 1 more? It is a number that is after a given number or you have to count more. I'll give, it, I'll give an example just like this. What is 1 more than 22? So, if it is 1 more than 22, all you have to think is, what is the number after 22? You count 1 more. So, 22. What is on the right of 22? The next number is? Hmm, you got it right. 23. Very good. Next example. What is 1 more than 35? So, 35. What's next after 35? 35. Very good. 36. And the last example, look at it. What is 1 more than 89? Hmm. Think about it. What is the number after 89? 89. Hmm. Did you get it correctly? 89, 90. Very good. So, that is how you will find a number that is one more than the given number. If there is one more than the given number, there is also one less than the given number. So, this is now the number that is before the given number. I'll give an example. Look, what is one less than 18? Hmm. So, before 18, there is a number. Mm hmm 18. What do you think is the number before 18? Hmm? It's 17. Very good. So, 17, 18. Very good. Next, what is 1 less than 46? So, the number before 46 is... All right, 45, 45, 46. Next, what is 1 less than 100? Hmm, if it's on the 100 now, what is the number before 100? Hmm, did you get it? Hooray, very good, it's 99. So, if there is a number that is 1 more, there is also a number that is 1 less the given number. And there is another. There is also a number that is between the two given numbers. Let's try. What is the number between 18 and 20? So, let's count on your mind mentally. Mm, 18, mm -mm. 20. So, what do you think is the number between 18 and 20? Mm. Correct. It's 19. That's the number between 18 and 20. How about this? 79, mm, 81. What do you think is the number between 79 and 81? Alright. It's 80. Very good. And the last example, 99 blank 101. Oh, hooray. <laughs> There's a number there already. So, the number between 99 and 101 is 100. See? So, this is how you count 1 to 100. So, this is uh, the 100 table. There, always remember, there is a number that is 1 more, 1 less, or number a number between the two given number. So, you you practice counting 1 to 100 at home, okay? Good job for today. Let's have, um, let's practice more and do the next activities for today, okay? Bye!